Good afternoon. Staff Sergeant Travis Baker, the Calgary Police Service Centralized General Investigation Section. I've got a prepared statement to read and then some follow-up questions afterwards. Uh, the Calgary Police Service is currently investigating an automated teller machine theft from a local casino. Uh, this is one of 13 ATM-related smash-and-grab thefts since August of 2014, where offenders used a vehicle or weapon to smash through the doors or windows of businesses, dislodge the machine, and then steal it. The most recent incident occurred this morning at around 6 a.m. at the Calgary Casino located at 1420 Meridian Road Northeast. It's believed two offenders smashed the front glass of the casino with a crowbar and entered the premises. Uh, they headed straight to an ATM machine. They loaded the machine onto a dolly and made their way outside to a waiting vehicle, which from video appears to be a silver-colored minivan. Uh, likely, unbeknownst to the thieves, the machine was in the process of being moved to a different location in the casino and was out of order and was empty at the time. Uh, so they got no cash from that machine at all. Uh, there were several employees inside the casino at the time of the theft, however, none were injured. In each of these 13 cases, the offenders have stolen very little, if any, money, as the machines are most often empty several times a day. Um, and quite often in, during that 24-hour period on each of the business days, the machines are emptied as well. Uh, damage to the targeting buildings, uh, targeted buildings have ranged from anywhere from $5,000 to $40,000 and often leave the business owners with considerable cleanup and restoration costs. The service has arrested three people in connection to two of the 13 incidents. However, it, believes, uh, it is believed that copycat offenders have orchestrated the most recent offense. Uh, Aldrich Canero, 28, and Richard Demas, 27, have been arrested, and they are in custody for the ATM smash and grab that occurred at the Cash Canada on Monday, November 17, 2014. Also, uh, also arrested in relation to an ATM smash and grab that occurred at the Husky gas station on Saturday, August 30, 2014, is Jesse Allen Johnson. Johnson, 24, remains in custody at this time. CPS urges businesses with ATMs to target harden themselves against smash and grab thefts by moving the machines away from the windows or doors and ensuring that the machines are in view of uh, closed circuit television and that they are fixed with a chain or bolted to the floor. Always ensure the machines are emptied several times a day. Uh, investigators with the services ca uh, centralized general investigation sections are working with the business liaison unit in an effort to raise awareness of the incidents and to help educate business owners on protecting their assets. Anyone with information about this incident or any other incidents are encouraged to contact the Calgary Police Service or Crime Stoppers through the regular means. If you have any questions. You mentioned that these were perhaps copycat offenses, so you're not thinking that this is necessarily one uh, outfit that's uh, going around the city and doing all these things? You think it might be several? Well, we know for a fact that three of the individuals we have are all in custody right now, so we know they didn't do the one that was at 6 o'clock this morning. Right. So uh, those are just with respect to two. I mean, with respect to the other 11, you feel like it, it isn't necessarily the same people? Certainly some of them could be related to each other. We can't <clears throat> confirm or refute that, and the investigation continues into those, that some of the people may be responsible for more than one. Um, we can't say effectively that the three individuals that we have in custody didn't commit the one this morning. Right. So, When you see something like this come up where you have the, uh, all of a sudden a rash of a certain type of offense, in your experience, what is it that's going on there? Is it just people going, hey, that's not a bad idea, let's give it a try? Or what, what's going on when you see a sudden rash of a certain type? I believe that it, as it gets out there and people see videos of it, see it on the news, they, they start to think that this might be a, a good way to make some money. In reality, stealing an automated teller machine is probably a really bad idea for making cash. Um, not a substantial amount of money is obtained from these for all the work, the effort. Uh, in most of the cases, these individuals have been absolutely unsuccessful in stealing the machine even, never mind getting the money out of it. Uh, most often, the, the machine is too heavy, it's bolted down, uh, it's too hard to get out of the store, they cause too much damage, or as we saw the other day, the vehicle got jammed inside the store and they couldn't even get the vehicle out of the store, never mind the cash machine. Uh, it's a very ineffective way to make a living. Do you think they look at it like it's a way of robbing a bank without actually having to go and deal with a person or maybe, you know, deal with somebody that might, you know, shoot them or something like that? It actually might appear that way, but in this case, the Calgary Casino had people in the business at the time. Um, so they are actually running into people, and we're exploring that avenue right now. Uh, we'll consult with the Crown, and if it looks like it would be appropriate to, ch to lay a robbery charge as there were occupants of the building, we'll take care of that as well. Um, at, most of them are just thefts, uh, that they're stealing the machine but uh, they're doing a lot of damage in those cases, so it'll be dealt with appropriately by the courts, but we'll certainly lay every charge we can. 
I know there was one on, I think it was last fall, on 30, on Richmond Road and 37th Street Southwest. Is that, was that a similar situation where they, they broke in and, and uh, tried to take the ATM? And you'll have to refresh my... It was a Husky station, a ga Husky gas station. I would probably have to refer, refer to the primary investigator on that one, but I'm thinking you're thinking of uh, the one that we've charged the individual on, if okay. it's the Husky. Yeah, that was a Monday, though, so I was wondering. Okay. Did you guys think it's a ring at all or a group of people, sort of like an organized crime thing, or, or an organized group that are targeting ATMs or working in concert with each other? Well, based on the experience of the individuals and how they went about committing these crimes, I, I don't think I would attach organized or skilled to any of these offenses. Um, they really do just seem to be very unprofessional in how they go about doing business. As a matter of fact, they're injuring themselves quite often when they do it. Um, it seems like it is the easiest crime that they can think to commit. They aren't very successful at it. Um, I don't know why they'd continue doing it as to whether it's connected to a group of people. I can't really say. Um, I don't really know enough about each of the groups as we haven't arrested all the people, but I don't believe that it's really connected to a ring of individuals. I think it's a couple of people that have decided that this might be a good opportunity for them to try and make some money, um, and several groups have copied them. Have the three that you have in custody, have they shed any light as to why they would keep doing this? Or, like you said, if it's more trouble than it's worth. No, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that they probably wouldn't have done the ones that they did knowing that we were going to catch them for that. Um, they haven't really talked to us very much, as in most cases, most offenders don't want to talk to the police after they've been caught. So. Are the businesses targeted at random, or do they go and so call a case off the joint, see where the machine is, see what they need to do to get it, or are they going in line, there's a machine, let's go try to grab it? Well, uh, once again, I would like to say that it's completely random in every in all aspects, but it would make sense for them to go by and have a look at the location first to see where the machine is, but once again, uh, we can't express enough to the public and the people who have these machines that they need to target hard themse themselves a bit, uh, move the machines away from the door, make sure that they're secured. Um, don't make it easy for people to come in and victimize you. Uh, you wouldn't leave a flat screen TV in the front seat of your car and then park at the LRT station in the hopes that nobody smashes your window out. So why would you put a, ma a bank machine right in front of doors made of glass? doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. As well, a large portion of bank machines have surveillance cameras around them. Was that one of the tools that helped get the guys that you have is video and surveillance? Certainly. Video is, as you know, video is, in almost all cases, video is everywhere, uh, from cell phone cameras to surveillance videos, uh, traffic cameras, red light cameras, they're everywhere. Uh, in any investigation, we pull all of those things. I believe we have some video that we're going to release to you from the Calgary Casino. Obviously, when you go into a casino, you, you must know that you're on camera from 50 different angles at every moment. So uh, we will release that video to you guys today, um, hopefully fairly early on. So. And did that help in apprehending the... Well, in this case, we haven't apprehended the individuals. Not uh, the casino, but the earlier one? That yes. Yeah. The three people, where were they arrested? Uh, I can't get into specifics as to actually where they were arrested. I don't... No, I wasn't there when they were they arrested. Were arrested while Committing the offense? Yeah. No, it's part of the investigation. So you basically identified these people that went on? The yes. The vehicle on uh, Meridian Road uh, this morning, uh, have you determined if it's uh, part of the ca uh, casino? I believe you're speaking about the Gold Murano that was yeah. parked down the street. Um, undetermined whether it's involved, but we're certainly, we've seized that vehicle and we're investigating that. Um, if it is, hopefully we'll get some forensic information from the vehicle. We'll be able to use that to aid us in the investigation. And there was um, uh, a back seat uh, thrown. Up. You know, you, you know, can you talk a bit about that, if anything? Unconfirmed right now, but we do believe the escape vehicle at the casino was a silver minivan. Um, that seat would certainly be consistent with that minivan. I don't want to say that it actually is the seats from the minivan, but from the video we can tell that the seats are missing from the back of the minivan and a couple blocks away is a back seat from a minivan. Um, it's a bit of guesswork, but I'm going to say it's probably related. Uh, we'll confirm that and we'll look into all the forensics in relation to the Murano as well. Any other questions? You, you may have already said, are these three guys, are they suspected in another smash and grab? They may be involved in other ones. We can't confirm that. Um, we're certainly looking at that. That'll be part of the investigation. I don't want to speculate as to whether they've committed other ones, but certainly if they've done one, we would be looking at them for others. What's being done with these ATM machines once they've been taken? Like, are they being sold for parts? Do they just get dumped? What happens? 
In a lot of cases, we've recovered the ATMs. Um, it takes a substantial amount of effort to break into one of the machines. Uh, it takes tools, it takes time and a location. They have to take it somewhere, secure it away. Uh, it takes quite a bit of effort and noise and to damage one of those things. So if, we, if you see anybody, if the public sees anybody with an ATM, please call us. Don't engage the person, call 911. We'll come and deal with it. Um, that being said, it takes grinders and chisels and axes to get into these things. They're quite well fortified. Once they get the safe, the actual cash box out of them, they dispose of them. So we have recovered several of them. So they still might be working on the one they stole this morning? Well, they're going to be in for a surprise. If they haven't gone into it yet, I'm sure they're fairly disappointed right now. So there's nothing in that machine that was taken this morning? No, there's no money in the machine. Might save them the effort, actually. Yeah.